Hello, and welcome to the first installment of what should prove to be a very long series of Italian tutorials. My name is Claudio, and I'll be teaching you the Italian language from scratch. So things that you've got to expect in the beginner series are pronunciation, first of all. I think speaking is very important, and speaking gives you confidence and motivation to keep studying. So I think it's the best way to start learning a language. Learning how to speak is always more important than other things, in my opinion. Grammar is what makes the Italian language very tricky. So we're going to have to embrace a whole new level of complexity and contractions. So we're going to have to cover that in detail. Conversational Italian, colloquial expressions, English words in common use, and Italian words that you know already that you're using in English already are also very important because they will build up your confidence. And there will also be dialogues where we will be practicing things that we've covered. Before beginning the actual course that will begin from next video, I want to teach you the difference between the acute accent and the apostrophe. The reason why I want to teach you this is because it's very simple and also because in English you can get away with not knowing the difference because the apostrophe is very common, but the acute accent isn't. First things first, et cetera is a Latin word. And basically, in English, you don't change it. You keep it the way it is in Latin, and then you abbreviate with ETC. In Italian, you translate it into an Italian word that means exactly the same thing, etc. Therefore, when you abbreviate, you abbreviate with ECC. So, although I make many, this is not a spelling mistake. So this text is a text that I've received from my ex-girlfriend and basically that's how she broke up with me. Now let's have a look at the meaning. Now, troppo means too and tardi means late. Easy enough. So these are two adverbs and they will never change. They're always written in this way and this is what they mean and that's about it. Now, the interesting thing that I want to cover in this video is the very first word, which is E. Now, how can you distinguish between an apostrophe and an acute accent? Well, I've got to be honest, I have an American keyboard right now, so there's no way that I can make them look different. But the thing is, you don't have to, because you can always distinguish between an acute accent and the apostrophe. Now, the apostrophe that you have in English like when you have I have and you want to make it shorter I've basically you put an apostrophe in between the two words and that stands as a reminder that you've got rid of some letters and that's all an apostrophe will ever do and you can tell it's an apostrophe because it's in between two words now the acute accent is always after the word. So there's always a space after the acute accent. All the acute accent does is it says, hey, careful, because the vowel before me has to be pronounced differently. Now, in this case, you have only one vowel, but let's take an example. This word means why in Italian. This is how you say why. Now, in this case, you pronounce this letter, I, normally, but you pronounce this letter, E. Why? In Italian, you pronounce all the letters in the same way, regardless of the context, at all times. So, why is it that this sound is different? Because of the acute accent. And as you can see, the acute accent is always at the end of the word, meaning if there is another word after, there must be a space. So the acute accent is always before a space. The apostrophe is always in between two words. Oh, and by the way, E means it is. So it's too late. That's the meaning of the text. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. There's going to be a lot more Italian coming up. This video was just meant to be an introduction. 
I hope you're excited and ready to begin the course. Italian is very easy, so don't worry. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video and take care. Also, I forgot to say that this course is dedicated to my girlfriend Chiari, who has been asking for it for such a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah.